Welcome to my tutorial on hatching with gradients in AutoCAD. I've written this H and the I which I'd like to color up using gradient hatch. We're going to begin here on the home tab up on the ribbon. If I drop this down you can see we have the normal hatch button. We can also go straight to gradient. I'd also recommend on options clicking on this little arrow here which takes you through to the hatch settings. You can see our normal hatch settings over here on this tab, gradients over here. And you're given a choice of blending between two colors. You can pick the two or this is the one I use the most, just using a tint of a single color. We can choose whether we want the pattern centered. We can adjust the angle over here. We can choose for the hatch to be associative, which means that when say the hatch boundary is stretched the hatch will move with it and also creating separate hatches can be useful it allows you to hatch a number of areas at once but those areas of hatch are not associated to one another just to make this a little more interesting make it a bit more visually appealing I'm going to put something through the middle here and then hatch with gradient hatch above and below that line to give an effect. Go back to gradient hatch. This is going to be the top half. I'm going to select this one over here. I'm going to use pick points just to pick inside the area. Get the preview and enter. I'm going to hit enter again so it repeats the command. Click inside and enter. Go back to gradient. We change the color for the base. Go to true color here and uh, just adjust it slightly. Get exactly what you need. I'm going to choose that same pattern again. Enter. And this line can come out. And there's the effect. So a lot can be done with AutoCAD using gradient. You just have to be well prepared for it. And it may take some time, but the effects can be quite professional.